So raising your pH without raising your alkalinity is basically done like this. So what I have here is went ahead and let me turn the pump off real quick and you'll be able to see. Is I have a little bit of a uh, return that is like this. So this allows me to actually point the water straight up, straight down, uh, make a big whirlpool that way. Over here, I actually had the other one that goes in here. Now this one I use much of the time as well. And of course you could put that in here as regular operation and then you've got that style. Uh, but when it comes to aerating or raising your pH, you want to aerate it. So I just go ahead and put this little piece on here. Now of course you can get a fountain and various things, uh, but this here I've found, don't lose it, has it works real well. Matter of fact, in hours, uh, or your pH raised, and then I just put it on like that. Turn the pump back on. Now you do have to adjust a little, kind of get water going everywhere, so I'm going to point it a little bit outward. I like that. Just allowing the aeration to come up, uh, that's going to go ahead and continue to increase the pH relatively quickly. You see all them bubbles and everything in there. We're going to check the uh, pH level using my Taylor kit here in just a moment. So as I'm preparing for the uh, pool season, I want to make sure, first of all, my pH is good, my alkalinity is good. If I get my alkalinity good, it's usually good for much of the season. I don't have to worry about it too much. I tested it and it is at about 110. Not too high actually, but I prefer it somewhere between 50 and 90. So what I've done is my pH was also only at about 7.0 and it's windy out here. But uh, I went ahead and decided I want to raise the pH, but I don't want to raise the alkalinity. This is the best way to do it by using this uh, aeration method. Now you can add baking soda, but that's gonna raise your pH and your alkalinity, but we want to lower it. So we'll raise the pH, and then I'm gonna lower it with some muriatic acid, which I have on the way and supposed to be delivered today. But let's go ahead and check the pH now with my kit. I've been aerating this now for a solid three or four hours. And I'm just gonna use this kit right here. And if you have any of the Taylor kits, uh, this right here is the R004. That's what you would use. And we just fill this thing up to 44 uh, milliliters. Just gonna move this over here just a little bit where it's a little calmer. So we put that to right at 44 milliliters of water. And we use this regent right here, the R0004, and we're gonna add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Put the lid on. Don't really need that. Put the lid on there, and we're just gonna shake. may be hard to tell. Let me point this up at the sun. Let me see if I can get a view up at the sky. And you can see it was earlier looking closer. You see that 7.0 yala and look how it's gotten pink. This is now looking more like 7.5. Maybe even 
yeah, about 7.5 or so. Uh, maybe even 7.6. But we will go ahead and add some muriatic acid. I'll bring that down so that it's closer to 7.0. And then I'll go ahead and uh, uh, aerate again if needed. So that is just a real quick way to go ahead and raise your pH without raising your alkalinity. Aerate it. And I found this to be a very quick and excellent way to do it. Now you can, as I said, do other methods. I did have a fountain and it no longer works. I need to get a new one. And that's a way to aerate it, but it'll take a little longer. Uh, but this here is pumping so much volume. Uh, through there that it actually gets that pH uh, increased quite quickly. So all you want to do is get that water bouncing out or get that uh, return bouncing the water out on top of the surface that will help re raise your pH and it will not affect the alkalinity. So when you're getting your pool ready it's almost May. Get your pH, get your alkalinity in check before we go to the next step. I'm gonna be using the BBB method this year, which is pretty much bleach or chlorinated liquid. And that's it with a little baking, uh, you use baking soda, borax, and bleach. That's what the BBB stands for, it's very simple. I'll be checking the chlorine nightly once we get this rolling, the pool's getting there. And uh, here's a good view of it. I do have, I don't have it hooked up right now. I had a little vacuum going in here earlier. Um, everything's looking pretty good. I also went ahead and changed my filter. Uh, here is the old one. Uh, and I put a brand new filter in here. I have currently removed the sand filter because it was leaking and it can be repaired, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a strictly cartridge filter this season and um, use the BBB method. I'll have more videos uh, as the year goes on showing how I do this quite frequently. And that is pretty much what we have here. All right, thank you for watching. This is the Easy Clear Pool YouTube channel.